Hello, good evening, or good very early in the morning. Go to bed after this, if you will, please. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. Ah. Welcome to a game called Welcome to Home. I'm Kraken. I'll be playing Gregory Danthea DeVran, who is maybe a little bit frazzled and stressed out, but not nearly as much as the person he's leading around. Yeah. Who else am I playing with today? Hi, I'm Hex. I'm playing said person who is frazzled and being led Ooh. around. Uh, that would be Matthias. He is... Everything happens so much, and he's still just kind of reeling. Bless. Bless him. Mm-hmm. And that leaves me. So, hi, everyone. I am V Wild, and I hold up my monkey, and I also hold up my network. Pat's her. She's a home. She has stability. Mm-hmm. Getting a new guest. A new person. Oh, boy. She's excited! Oh, network darling. <laughs> She's getting the rundown a bit, but she is excited for a new person. Oh boy. She's gonna be gentle. The, okay. She's the relatively chill subtlety of Kara versus networks everything. It just... she's, been to she's been told by Kara to be gentle and that this is someone who needs her brightness. And network does know how to handle people because I gesture at Lynn's entire line of work and her specializations. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, on that note, uh, Ooh. network. I don't know how far. I don't know how far network's awareness extends past like her front door. But uh... <gasps> it's it's pretty close. It's. I'd want to say it's kind of like her entire territory, like her garden, her front, about 15 feet around, like, perimeter sort of thing. But she is going to, unlike right. with unlike with Lynn or Rai, she can't tell when someone's coming, because, hey, when, when your warmth bringer starts coming closer, that's basically like bringing a small bonfire near. You know that. Other people, it takes them getting in, so it'll be a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's not a far journey for Craig and Matthias, especially with Kara shortening the way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I think, Network, you feel them approacheth. Yup. They yep. cross the line. It was Craig so good, and new person. New person? Who this? New energy. New bond? Yeah, it's, it quite literally is like that. Lynn has said, because the name was in the um, the letter that Gregory sent, that this is Matthias. Matthias is a new guest. Matthias, new guest? Yes. And Network is going to figure out a name down the line, but mm -hmm. Network and has had talks from Kara and talks from Lynn on what exactly this person is going to be doing here. The short answer, recovery. The shorter yeah. answer, not a lot. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about, could Matthias give me a perception role as he's rocking up? Because this, this new should, building. Should, new should we give perception or should we just go with his passive 24? Jesus Christ. Hey. So, Matthias, <laughs> first things first, all the other buildings in this place are pretty, well, they, they definitely fit a certain vibe of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is the Halloween Town gothic sort of vibes with yep. the wood and everything. Yup. Uh, this house seems to be trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pink the house in the is... row of goth ones. It's it's the emphasis on she's trying. Mm -hmm. She's got she's got the red bricks and they, they, she's dulled the colors and the grouting is gold, but she's dulled it down a lot. But 
she's got the window, like the blinds closed, but there's gold light leaking out of them, just faintly. Mm-hmm. And there's trees on the roof that are very pretty. And it basically looks as though if you went through here, you'd go, yeah, the emphasis is on quotation marks, trying their best. Yup. <laughs> the fact there is, with a 24, there is an ever so slight hum in the air. Mm -hmm. Just like, as, you're, as you've passed that 15 foot and you're close, you, you do hear it just at the faintest edge of your thing. Not the kind of hum that gets, um, is scary, like in horror movies, but is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, you know it inherently because this is the welcome. This is, hi. His ears yep. kind of twitch he a little is bit. confidently marching right up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Matthias is trailing behind, just, yep. I will also say, Gregory, because this is your home, you do notice on the ground that there is, like, in front of the door. First, it, it's a very rare thing, but you can actually see a welcome mat. Aww. <laughs> and you do see Aww. just, like... Uh, you do see on the door there is this decal of a, um, a detective hat, or a, a hat. Mm-hmm. You might be able to deduce it's a detective's hat, you're not sure. But there is the words Stagehands Requiem stenciled around it. Okay. He's he's taking this all in. Uh, he does recall uh, at the end of Talent Stole when Gregory did not so... Oh no, he wasn't there for that, never mind. Uh, he did name drop the Requiem. He did name drop the Requiem, but Matthias was not there for that, I don't think. Because I think mm. Oswell had squirreled him away to somewhere quiet by that point. Uh, That's a good point, yeah. He did get Capri sunned, as far as I know, so... He needed... This he... was dealing with the police, and yeah. it was like, you know what? Yeah. Dealing perhaps. with the aftermath of all of that, and the fallout, and just... Uh, it was a lot... Mm -hmm. Uh, but he kind of, like, Gregory's in his constant rambling at the minute that they entered Halloween Town. He's mentioned Lynn. He's mentioned the stagehand, probably, like, uh, but, so Matthias has gained, uh, he's gleaned some information about, like, this is a detective or an investigator of some kind. That makes sense. And the hat definitely kind of cements, yeah, okay, some kind of, some kind of detective. Okay. Mm-hmm. One of the oldest detectives in Inkwell. Yep. Which is kind so of... It may throw, <laughs> it may throw Matthias's perception a little when Gregory moves up to the door, opens, and just calls out, honey, I'm home, as he walks in. He <laughs> does get a little bit, like, huh? Yeah, it's also straight up, like with the manor, it's Gregory, your hand goes for the door. Your hand does, you're like, it does, your fingertips do brush the um, doorknob, and it immediately opens. The only reason your fingers touched is because Network wanted it to be warm and wanted to just vibrate in the, hi. <laughs> and you are both in a, or one of you is in a new location, one of you is coming home. Yep. Do you want to roll perceptions? Sure, Matthias will actively look this time as opposed to taking it all in. Let's see. Uh... Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Would you like a d6, Matthias? No, because it's still an actual decent roll. It's just a two on the dice for an 11. Bless. <laughs> I think part of that, part of that 11 might be, Matthias, whatever you were thinking of, by thinking, you know, detective's place, or your surroundings, or just where you've just been and where you just come from, 
you probably thought there might be like business and it is a bit it's also bright gold in here yeah he is very uh caught off guard by the color palette uh not it's not enough to blind or anything it's not painful it's just different it that's the best word to describe it because his surroundings prior had been uh mostly dark violets dark reds and the accents of gold uh Mm -hmm. And it was real gold, not like, you know, not like the bright gold, which is what this is. So he is, uh, he is definitely just like, oh, this is way different from both, uh, my previous situation and Macabre Manor. Yep. It, compared to, like, the rich places, even, like rich place that isn't taking itself seriously this place feels down to earth might be a good word mm -hmm. like you're in a foyer but like there's a coat rack off to one side and a plastic plant that's been over watered I... it's been watered yes there's they've learned that it's not an actual plant now yes it might be it's still being being watered out of spite cool and there's like pictures on the walls and that sort of stuff just little things here and there clear signs that there are more than one person living here mm -hmm. think with an 11 that's the most you're gonna get that's fair until, until you go further in well i say that you are going to see someone in a second because from a slightly around like as though she'd been making her way around the decently sized desk on the opposite side of this place and she comes into sight. Gregory, that is your partner absolutely smiling at you with a compass in hand that she's putting on her, like, on her skirt. Matthias, that's a monkey. That's a monkey. That's a, a very face. short monkey. Yep. Yeah. And... The first thought that probably comes into your mind from, like, expression and the way she looks is probably soft. Because she is very fluffy right now. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and then Lynn is looking at you both just, hi love, welcome home. And hi. Good to be home. <laughs> and she does come closer but she does stop at a respectable distance at first and just goes ah, and you are matthias right hi i'm lynn uh yeah yes yes ma'am uh hello uh and he kind of he gives that like it's not a full bow but he does kind of like duck his head ah don't worry you don't need to do that here oh <laughs> Uh, all, all right. Uh, and he kind of <laughs> straightens back up and just, uh, you know, straightens back up with a with a with a uh, rat. Sorry. All right. All's okay. Uh, right, you guys are here now. Uh, I've already introduced myself. Um, I got to ask. Uh, do you know anything about this building? Uh. Well. I. Uh... The the mayor explained that uh there are gen genius loci here and that uh well that this place was one of them uh mm -hmm. he is and... admittedly looking around a little curiously <laughs> right as you like finish saying that the ever so faint hum you've been able to hear absolutely just picks up just. Into a very warm, not quite symphony, but it is just this very happy that fills the air. And it it does feel warm. It's, well, a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that would be a, this is Network. She's a sweetheart. And... 
she's well she already seems very fond uh but oh please uh don't we don't have to stay in the foyer if you don't like uh do you both want to come in matthias is waiting for gregory to move <laughs> yeah we'll we'll come in fantastic uh i hope the travel was as good as it can get mm. yeah all all things considered all things considered Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Uh, have you have you had food yet? We uh, did get fed and watered at the manor. Yeah. Ah, oh, good, good. Well, they're both picking excellent. I I will manage to get some chili in you all later. <laughs> oh, absolutely, please. Mm hmm. You get a very uh, long blink, blink. Lynn internally. Oh my god, this changeling's never had chili. He hasn't. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna give this boy experience. <laughs> yes. But she does, like, jest you both in. Just One thing I will say is the gesture she does doesn't feel like a beckoning. In fact, Roll me insight, Matthias. <laughs> okay, all right, I see how it is. All right. Uh, I can math. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right. It's you're you're probably looking at this one, trying to figure out the angles, trying to figure out how to conform and that sort of stuff. Yep. The je the way she gestures is very open armed, hands on show sort of thing, but it doesn't feel grandiose. It's not as though she's directing, and it's not as though she's beckoning. If anything, if anything it feels like the gesture of an equal hmm. the kind you would give to your fellow person and she's also she's been looking at you both but she's not been she's not been staring she's mm -hmm. not been analyzing she's not been looking at you as though you are an oddity she's she's treating you like a person mm -hmm. And she does just look between you both. And as she does, like, bring you in, there is a very comfortable couch, which she does, like, gesture towards. She does also just, like, she does reach towards you, Craigery, in the, I have not given you your kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you come here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely is reaching back. And I feel like, Tangentially, Matthias also knows Gregory had relaxed upon getting into Halloween Town, relaxed further when things went well with uh, the mayor mm -hmm. and his husband. And now there's basically no more tension. This this man is upon entering this house at and ease. seeing this. Yeah, for the first time since Matthias has known him. Yeah. Uh. Which is kind of a big thing. Uh, he's going, like, Lynn gestured to the couch. He is immediately going to sit. Uh, he doesn't, except he doesn't quite sit. He, um, I, he sits, but it's, you look at him and like that is perch. def, yeah, that is definitely, you took the exact words. That is a perch. Uh, mm -hmm. but he is sitting on the couch. Uh, mm-hmm. We take our victories. You take your victories where you can get them. He is sitting. He is just quiet. He is taking everything in a, a little wide-eyed. Um, mm -hmm. He is still tense. He's still wound like a goddamn spring. Mm -hmm. But being, you know, in clean clothes and uh, with food, he he looks a little better. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Bless him. Yeah. It's been a very, very intense 36 hours. It really 
really has. He's had his entire world upheaved. He really has. He got stolen. Like, that's just how this started. <laughs> Is, they stole him. They stole that boy. Quite a talent. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lynn does just uh, Craigery like lean down, kiss, just like Hi, welcome home. I'm really glad you're safe. You doing good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing good. Glad. I was listening on the radio, I had my compass and you came home safe. I knew you would. Yeah, I mean promised, didn't I? I know. <laughs> You're always gonna come home. Just mm. another, another like little kiss, and then she's just like, right, en enough of us being lovey dovey. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, where where are my manners? They they've gone out the window. I swear. Oh, uh, no, no, it's quite it's quite all right. You don't, uh, I, you don't need to act or do anything different just on my account uh still it's not polite to leave a guest out eh and well new friend new guest new everything in between it's wonderful to meet you all right blink 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 Less. <laughs> so, um, from what I understand, you're you're going to be staying with us, right? Uh, that is what uh, that is what Gregory has said. Yes. Great. Hey, uh, on that front, uh, would you like to sit? You've probably been uh, darting about quite a bit today. Uh, do you want to take a pause, take a breath? I can get some tea. Or I can, uh, show you the tour. Uh, um, I, uh, his, he, his gaze briefly darts to Gregory, uh, trying to see, like, and Lynn, you can tell this too. You, if you want to roll insight, you may. Uh, he's very easy to read. Um, mm -hmm. that's probably one of the first things that you have managed to, like, pick up on this poor lad is, uh, mm -hmm. everything is plain as day on his face. Um, he can't lie to, he can't lie his way out of a goddamn paper bag. Uh, mm -hmm. and he is clearly staring between you two like there is a puzzle, uh, that he is trying to not necessarily solve, but just not be beat by. And he's trying to figure out if there's a correct, he's trying to figure out what the correct answer here is. As if there mm -hmm. is a correct answer. Uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And he's. Uh. He eventually figures you are offering a tour, therefore, you must want to give the tour, therefore, the correct answer is the tour. Uh. And so mm -hmm. he just, if, uh, I, 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 I guess the, the tour then, uh, since you offered, uh. All right. Oh. All right. So that'll be good. Uh, I admit we're a bit of a, uh, small household. <laughs> we, I, I do say, um, sweetheart might undergo a redesign at some point she's certainly been building up to it if uh the zoomies are anything to tell by but blank, blank. <laughs> he does not know what that means lynn lynn outright just like almost as though she's making a joke of herself just goes yeah i admit i don't entirely get it either i'm just getting what's in my head but yeah uh the building will get bigger at some point should stay pretty similar, we think. Just, uh, she just wants to grow a little bit. I think she wants a few more rooms. 
Matthias takes all of that in and just is like, yep, okay, that, sure. <laughs> House won't be bigger, it, yeah. It's complicated. We're just taking it as it goes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, before we go on the tour, I will say there's you, me, Gregory, um, there are two other tenants. Uh, there's my cousin, Hattie, and my son, Rai. Uh, Boomer also frequents. I'm, she's staying with her mentor, right, Gregory? Uh, yeah. Between but that she... and mm -hmm. Jenny. Indeed, indeed. We are planning on getting a room for her, just in, because she is a very, very sweet child. The best child. We're gonna make not, not that there's a, a, a ranking between the kids. Of course not. It's... And then network hums, and she just goes, "Yes." <laughs> like Lynn does not clarify what she's agreeing to. Just there is a hum. Matthias is just watching all of this. He is not commenting. He is just taking all of this in. <laughs> Uh, I will also say, um, we are a very sweary household. We're not swearing in anger, but we do say uh, peck and that sort of stuff a lot, okay? That's not anything against anyone. We just really like our swear words. If this makes you uncomfortable, we'll work on it, alright? Uh, that, it's alright, uh... He seems to not quite understand uh, tune swearing, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, because the end of the day, your comfort and safety is priority, all right? We can work things out. You definitely get a press X to doubt look on his face. Uh... Mm-hmm. Lynn knows the only way to deal with that is to show it over time. Yup, yup, yup. Mm hmm. But she does just go, okay, um, always good to start a tour in the place you are, otherwise, you just loop around and then come back to the place. Uh, this is the main room. This basically is everything. Yeah, it's everything. It's our living room and our place of just convening and chaos. Really comfy. Get a comfy couch. Uh, that's my desk over there. And she points behind her and... Oh, with that, with Matthias's, like, passive inside everything, it almost feels dismissive, of all things. Just Interesting. Like, yeah, that's the Oh yeah, that's the desk, you know, the main, like, the main piece of furniture in this room. Mm-hmm. If anything, she's prioritizing the couch. Yeah, uh... He's gonna, he'll puzzle that one out later. That's fine. Uh, the right next to you is the Wall of Love. And, yeah, as you turn, in fact... Matthias, would you roll me a perception? Just, oh this is a, this is it's a light-hearted perception. Oh boy. Uh well that light-hearted perception is a 25. Nice. So, you know. Yeah. Uh as you do turn, they you you're not entirely sure how they got there, but it isn't a jarring thing that they're there. There are more cushions around you than there were when you sat down. <laughs> he kind like, of is enough... just a little bewildered like not enough that it's actively forcing you off if anything it's kind of made you a mini seat within the sofa <laughs> he 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 looks very perplexed he's not surprised like he was when Kara moved uh, a table. He did. He doesn't jump out of his skin, but he is just kind of like surprised, perplexed. Uh, 
him. Yeah. Uh, it's very right. easy to tell, like, oh, this child is scared of everything. Uh, but it's not, you know, it's not, mm -hmm. oh, God, it's moving. It's just, uh, oh, oh, okay. There is the very significant reason why Network has not done any tornadoing yet. Yeah. And that is specifically because Network figured either him or Craigery going airborne would be a very oh, bad... Oh, God, thing. yeah. Like, straight up, there has been, like, the softest slight breeze for Craigery, just as a high, and that is it. That could just be put down to, like, air conditioning or something in this place. Mm -hmm. But as you do turn, yeah, that's a lot of pieces of paper on that wall. Like, a lot. Yeah. Which he... Oh, oh sorry, you go. I would say he clocked it as he came in, but he just didn't realize, like... He kind of figured, again, uh, maybe a child lives here, or these are, like, thank yous because this is a detective. Uh, Wall of Love is definitely a new one. Yeah. And with that perception, you can tell all of these pictures are portraits of people. Mm -hmm. And... They're clearly hand-drawn with a lot of effort and dedication. Mm -hmm. Like, whoever drew these put in effort to encompass the person. And they all seem happy. Mm -hmm. Or if not happy, then caught in a positive air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just goes, uh, this is the War of Love, um... This isn't going to quite make sense yet, but this is part of, um, Network's essence. Um, load-bearing wall or that sort of thing. Uh, a lot, a lot of things happen in this house. The only thing that we say is, uh, don't knock into it too hard or anything. It is her. His eyes get kind of big at that, like, oh... Uh, this is essentially, like, to put it in a term he would understand, this is her soul. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so, and he gets that kind of, oh, uh, shocked, yeah. surprised, like, but also kind of odd look, like, yeah, uh. You definitely get a glimpse of, oh, this is this is a curious boy, uh, mm -hmm. as he studies the wall. Now, uh, I know there's been research, uh, uh, contact? Friend? Uh, Faber. Faber's a specialist in genius loci. I've got his papers. I also have, um, Scribbles. I think Scribbles' work is in a different-ish area, but similar. Uh, I can lend you the papers if you like, if you're interested in reading more about this species. Oh, oh, um, uh, oh, I, uh, <laughs> oh no, help the boy, he wants to, but also, <laughs> um, oh. you can tell uh, he wants to say yes, but also... <laughs> I'll have copies put in your room. It's you can read it whenever you want. All right. Uh, thank, thank you, ma'am. Uh, don't don't need to call me ma'am. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, I'm I'm Lynn. Uh, oh, you already know that everyone calls me Lynn around here. It's it's kind of amusing. Uh, uh, oh, all right, all right, Lynn. Uh. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, from here. Uh, we got the side offices. Uh, my son likes being in there nowadays. He's he's getting his own boards. It's, I am very proud of him. Uh, but that's a place you can go in there if you knock first. Uh, we do we do work on a lot of cases, uh, helping a lot of different people. Uh, but I'm I'm not exactly uh bringing too many cases home at the moment, so so should all be fine, eh? He, he nods, like, understand, like, understanding, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, other than that, downstairs, uh, 
Oh, have, Craig, great love, have I mentioned the wards yet? Uh, no, don't think you have. Okay. Uh, so we have got a lot of wards in place here. Uh, a lot around... Uh, there are lots around Halloween Town and such. Uh, we do have specialized ones here, uh, meaning that people can't, you know, force you to do things that you don't want to do, or, you know, checking for uh, other people who try and enter or such. In, you are keyed in here, you are safe, you're fine. Uh, but if anyone tries anything, we're going to know about it. Okay? Oh. So no one's going to get in here without our permission. Oh, uh, oh, oh, all right. Uh, that's... All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Other than that... <sighs> wow, we have actually very little downstairs. <laughs> uh, bookshelves, free to use. Uh, other than that, uh, why not upstairs, eh? Matthias will stand. Uh... Rise, just rise from the couch. Rise from his, uh, I'm, I'm imagining it is growing. Uh, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it's straight up. There, you know how some birds like do the uh, different colors. Mm -hmm. Network was kind of putting different levels of plush and different colors of pillow to see which ones would kind of catch his eye or just be like, this is good. This is good. <laughs> This is good. He... I'm so sorry, Network. He was, uh, trying very politely to focus on Lynn, so he did not pay attention as more and more cushions yeah. were surrounding him. Uh... <laughs> yeah, honestly, Lynn predicted this. Network is... Network's gonna get it over time. Network just wants... Network just wants this guy to be comfy. I understand. <laughs> Don't worry, right. network. It'll happen. <laughs> it will. It's gonna be. It's slow, careful process. Yup. See. Uh, let's see. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. And she just does just start. It's compared to like butlering or being shown places or being ordered to go places. It does feel very um. Very unformal, mm -hmm. I guess is the best way of putting it, of how she gestures at things, points at them to make sure she's remembered them, and then, like, partially turns on her heel to start going. Mm -hmm. It is probably very different to what he's used to. It is very but... different. He is reeling. Uh, it's okay. He's holding it together pretty well so far. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he is padding along... Uh... He does notably wait for Gregory to start moving before he pads along, but yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. He does follow along. <laughs> he is still barefoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, I don't think this man will ever put shoes on at this rate. Lynn is clocking certain things on that front, and <laughs> she almost wants to ask, "Would you like shoes?" But she knows if she says it, it's either going to lead to not a problem at all, or him just taking shoes out of courtesy. Yup. <laughs> it's in time. Shoes will come One thing in time. At a time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She, yep. Yep. She does give a like hum, like it might just be her humming for the sake of humming, given that she has the vibes of just doing that, mm -hmm. or it might be her, you know, humming to the house. You, you're not entirely sure. Yeah. And then she is going up the stairs. When you're passive, mm -hmm. I will say, like, floor can be nice, like, wooden floors can be nice to walk along, I guess. Some of them are nasty texture-wise. It does feel... It's warm underneath your feet. Okay. And there is just, like, that faint vibration from earlier just in the floor. And the feeling that you... Almost the surety that you won't trip. Okay. Like, there's no sudden slip or anything. It doesn't even feel like polished floors of, like, the places you're used to. It does feel grounded. Mm-hmm. As she goes upstairs, right? Okay, uh... Yeah, you did do that, sweetheart. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, so let's see. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, go along the corridor, I guess. And she does just as she gets to the top. She waits for you both to get there as well. Okay. She does just go. Okay. Yep. Top of the bat. Uh, corridor, and she just does just like point along. And you can see back down where you came from. You can see down to the foyer. Mm -hmm. It is open. Like, it's a half floor, if anything. Yeah, it's Just a loft. Off. Yeah. <gasps> sort of, yeah. Sort of. And she just goes, okay, uh, we'll go down the line, I suppose. Uh, this room here, and she points, she even rests her hand against it. And you can see a little star on the door with the word right on it. Mm-hmm. This is my sunrise room. Really sweet young teen. He, well, yeah, not that young anymore, eh? Marvellous teenager. Uh, but really friendly, really bright. Uh, if you want to talk to him, do knock on the door first. This is his private room, just like everyone's bedroom is theirs. Okay? But he's he's going to like you, all right? Uh, un understood, yes. Uh uh, he's a wizard and a druid. Or druid first, then wizard. He's starting that now. I, I do apologize. I, I never actually um, asked what your... Um, you don't have to tell me, but... Your class? Blink, blink. Oh, uh, I... I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a healer. Uh, I'm a cleric. Ah, alright, alright. Uh... If I may ask, of who? Just so we can, um, sort out some things if you've got any religious, um... Roll insight! Yep. Yeah. And she does just say, like, religious... What's the word? Um, not traditions. Practices. Rituals? That's the one. That's, that's the word she goes. Okay, that is a 17 plus 6. Yeah, uh... You ask who, and immediately, uh, first of all, he full body flint, like he full on flinches, uh, and, uh, it's, it, the best way to describe it would be shame, uh, like he'd been kind of coasting along and like neutral, pretty, pretty, obviously like oh this is a lot this is a lot but i am i am here and i am handling it uh no he's uh he he no <laughs> boy boy not okay uh and he just kind of like uh his hand goes into the pocket gregory where you know he kept keeps that watch uh and he just says mm -hmm. i i I don't know. Oh. Okay. Okay, that that that's okay, all right? It... Hmm. Out of character, this is just me thinking for a second. It's just mm -hmm. goes... And she does nod, and she just goes, I'm... Sorry for making you uncomfortable on that, okay? It's, uh, I've overstepped. I, that's on me. Right? Uh, it's, I, uh, it's, it's, it's all right. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Tell you what, how about, how about we, yeah, let, let's jump the tour forward just a little bit. I think. I, th I think everything's been a lot for you right now, and that is completely okay and valid. Why don't we show you your room first, eh? Um, oh, all right, okay. Okay. All right. We can talk more at some point, okay? And he, he nods. And she bypasses, like, there's Rai's room. Gregory knows. In fact, Gregory, roll me perception, would you? Absolutely. 
I have a 16. Hey. Uh, Gregory, there's Rye's room. There's the kitchen. There's your and Lynn's room. There's a room. There's Hattie's room. Wait, there's a room? <laughs> <laughs> there's a what? Wait, what? Oh, there. <laughs> like, looking, <laughs> eyeballing, eyeballing this stretch. You think the kitchen might have shrunk slightly? And, um, yeah, there's a whole ass new room in this place now. <laughs> His first thought, I'm not gonna lie, was just like, wait, I thought the expansion hadn't started yet. What? <laughs> Network. So, oh, not expansion. We're just rejigging. We're just, okay. Network has energy to burn, and apparently the moment Kara said, hi, you're getting a new guest, Network went, okay, and made a new room. <laughs> like, L Lynn straight up did check with Hadi and Rye before they went off to do their own things, and th then, yeah, no, um, new room. <laughs> new room now. <laughs> new room now. <laughs> new room now. New room. Now. Exactly. Network, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. You killed me pretty well. Okay, but just, yeah. Lynn walks across, like, Craigery, you see Lynn walking along as though this is completely natural and normal and fine because, yeah, this is Lynn. Mm hmm. In. Of course, of course, this happens. <laughs> it just goes okay. Uh, kitchen, our room. This one is yours. All right. And she does. She knows too many choices is likely a bad idea. Mm -hmm. So she does open the door and she does cross the threshold. And then she stays there because she's not going to come too far in because A, this is his room, and B, she's doing it so he knows he's not going to immediately walk in and then it slams shut. Yeah. Uh, he, he'll he follow in and then, like, kind of step fully in and take a look around. Mm-hmm. Roll me perception or whatever you feel is most appropriate for new room! New room! That's a 25 again! Wow. Plus nine, baby. Yeah. All right. With that, it's kind. Of, it's not a plain room, but it's not bare. Mm -hmm. But it is probably different to the decadence he's used to. Oh yeah. It's there is a bed off to one side that is pressed against the walls for now. If Network figures out that's not good, they'll change it. Mm -hmm. But I think first things to probably notice is actually decent bed of an actually decent size, a window that is of a decent size that does seem to open. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, like, a desk and a comfy chair and a wardrobe off to one side. Uh, blankets on the bed, like, it's already made. Okay. Uh, throw blanket on it, that sort of stuff. Glow-in-the-dark stars on the ceiling. Hmm, okay. And also, this is something that I put in because it came to me and just... With a 25... He does notice that there is something tucked in the pillows of the bed. It looks fuzzy. But okay. that's about as far as he'd get here. Okay. Uh, so he kind of, like, takes it all in, uh... And gives, like... It's not like he's scrutinizing, it's more just he's taking it all in, uh... And, uh, he turns to face like uh once he kind of absorbs everything uh he turns to face lynn uh i'd say expectantly but it's not expectantly for like it's okay uh now what do i now what 
are we continuing? Am I being left here? Like, uh, if you want to explore in here, that's good. Uh, I I was thinking tea perhaps might be nice. I, I do have a new blend with lavender in. I'm, I think that might be nice. Um, wait, do you have any allergies? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Does Matthias have allergies? I don't think so. Cause that would None he's to... encountered yet. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of, that's probably, he would, uh, his response would probably be, I, uh, none that I'm aware of. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go and get some tea on so that you can explore and get settled. Uh, I'm presuming, I, I know the spooks. I'm presuming they'll have helped with clothes. They'll be able to get into the wardrobe. Uh, I did gather a few things that I thought might be helpful and just pop them in. Uh, at a later point, we can help you go out and get other things as well. This is your room for your comfort. Any form you like, anything you want to wear, anything you want to do is in here is perfectly fine. It's your safe place, right? Again, you get that like... No, actually. Huh? <laughs> do what mm-hmm. Gregory's mostly just been uh, letting Lynn go at it and keeping watch and being quiet but Etsy just co- does kind of shuffle like uh, I would ask one thing of you and he, um, his attention it, like turns to Gregory just would it be alright if Lynn could see your uh I don't know the proper term for it. Neutral. Um, how we found you, just so that she has that information. You don't need to stay in that form if you don't want to, but just to see it. Uh, and the you mentioned that, and he kind of looks a little confused until he realizes, oh, you mean you mean my actual my actual face? Okay. Uh, yeah. And so you, there was a dark skinned elf. Uh, standing kind Mm -hmm. of confused in the room and now no longer uh, now it is a pasty white changeling Uh, and I I don't know if Lynn has seen uh, I don't think she's seen actually oh Lynn has not Lynn has not seen Matthias as in throws Matthias in person she has, however, talked to Hugh and got a very best as possible sketch. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Uh, that face looks unnervingly familiar. The hair is different. The hair mm-hmm. is definitely different. But yeah, and also Lynn would have likely seen the sketch Jacques did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that the hair is different, but. No, that's the eyes are de- the eyes are are a nice purple shade instead of green, but that's definitely that face. Mm-hmm. How's a word? What what is um what is Matthias's passive insight? Out of curiosity. Twenty four. Twenty four. All right, so. Yeah, so on that front, just... There is... It's not a look of surprise. Surprise, I guess surprisingly. Because she'd anticipated with, you know, the sketch that she had and the name, she'd honestly already prepared herself before all of this so she wouldn't have a negative reaction or anything. You can also tell... There is no surprise at the change. Like, there's not even a step back. Mm-hmm. As, oh, perhaps she's used to people shifting in that sort of way. Yep. All right. Uh, good to know. Uh, honestly, great, actually. that Oh, that does remind me. Uh, I do need to give you a business card. Um, to get into network, because you are free to roam, you're free to roam around town and that sort of thing. Uh, probably, 
in your other form? And she does, like, give a look at Craigery, just... She's going off the vibes of what she assumes probably went down in the talk. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we did discuss that. And he nods an agreement, like... Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever form you want to have in here, you can have, Okay. There is no restrictions, there is no punishment, there is no anything, all right? Oh, oh all right. Uh, and he, like, nods. Uh, slight, slight, slighted in them. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you would, but I'd maybe ask you don't take my form, at least not where I can see. That's just personal reasons. Uh, okay, un understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... I don't... Other than that... Oh, sorry, you go. Uh, he's just, was kind of, like, quietly... I don't think I can mimic tunes anyway. Uh... Hmm. Uh, I know for a fact that someone... They can try. It's... I don't know, maybe the other one I know is just... They've been around for a long while lived here a long while, probably had the time to perfect the imitation. Uh, they don't do a bad shout. Matthias nods. I, but I, I, I won't, I won't take on any of y'all's forms. Uh, you don't, I, I won't do that. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, um, tea? Uh, yes, tea. tea. Tea is a very good thing. And she does... She does nod at you. Mm -hmm. Just like, not, not in the way of a nod of very good, but almost like a slight farewell for a moment. Okay. Again, again, a this is a fellow sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then she goes out and... As she does, I will note, because you are now facing the door. You do notice that there is a lock on your door. On the inside. He doesn't... Mm, he doesn't know how to feel about that one. If it's something that makes him actively uncomfortable, it will probably be something that they can shift out. That'll be uh, for later. Matthias is going to address that later. He is... Everything <laughs> happens so much. Yep. Indeed. But Lane is just going to walk into the other room and make some tea and have some thoughts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is Gregory going to follow her or is he staying in here? Uh, no, Krieger is inclined to follow and give Matthias a moment just to take it in the room on his own and have Matthias hasn't been on his own basically since yeah. he got yoinked out of Key's place. Yeah. Yeah. And also get a moment just to check in privately with Lynn and make sure this is actually okay. good yeah. and okay and yeah, yeah, yeah. All is well. Mm hmm. So he's we following out. Uh, he doesn't close the door after him, but he leaves it mostly closed. Basically, let Matthias do what he wants with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. In reality, Matthias probably won't touch it. But He won't. <laughs> this is a test, and he will pass it. <laughs> Bless him. Buddy. <laughs> 36 hours. <laughs> 36 yeah. hours. It takes time and slow effort, and we're gonna, we're gonna get there slowly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Following Lynn into the kitchen. And... Kiss the top of the head. There is a very content little squeak at that. And as she puts on the kettle so the water starts, like, boiling, it's just... In the noise that that makes, it's very good for having just small conversations. And she does just turn around and go, okay, are you alright? Are you okay with all of this? I'm... I'm good. I'm better. Uh, seeing him for the first time was a shock, but I can imagine. Right? It... Is 
this going to be okay? I, I know everything's been going very quickly. All right? It'll, it'll be fine. Like, you know, you've seen how he is. It's... I don't know what is going on with this or why or how, but he's not them. Very, very definitely not them. And whatever connection there is, he doesn't remember. Yeah. Yeah, it... And I mm -hmm. don't know with Thrall knows. No idea. All right. Sounds like some sort of... Are... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you all? Are you okay with this? Just, I know... This doesn't have to be a permanent thing. This this is this is bringing this is bringing this into like the heart of you. It is. But... Quite frankly, this is actually something I'm mildly used to from before I had all of you helping people who are in need. Yeah. I mean. That's part of why I have the Requiem. To be a safe place for those that need it. Yeah. Not that I want who he is or who he resembles to be a major factor, but it still does have to be accounted for. Indeed. Indeed it does. And we'll work with it. Seems like... A nice young man. He is not someone else. Right? He's his own being and he's going to grow and figure himself yeah. out. And I... if if that's here, then that's that's fine. If it's he chooses somewhere else down the line, that's also fine. But we're all gonna get through this together. Okay. Think out of anyone I'd understand best not being the person you resemble. So, it'll be fine. Indeed. Still probably something you're going to want to bring up at therapy? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only when you're comfortable, alright? Hmm. Okay. And... She then does stop for a moment and then switch to Grawlix and then just go... How much does he know of everything? Uh, of the thrall, uh, nothing. No memory of from before two years, two and a half years ago. Uh, from the sounds of it, basically his life began in Faruma and very, very shortly after uh, got brought into the whole Bluttering business. I haven't. I mean, you've seen how he's just walking in here. There's no way. Uh, no, he doesn't need to know anything about Thrall yet. No. Maybe never? Who knows? It's likely going to have to be addressed at some stage, but not yet. It's He's settling in. He needs stability first, and then for this to be approached tactfully. Mm -hmm. depending on how things develop it's better it's not dropped like a bombshell down the line but we'll we'll figure it out okay after he's got settled a bit uh yeah i do also have uh some stuff for you oh. it's gonna go into hammer space Now, officially, Everstead is looking into this whole business, uh, officially. Please Finally. tell me, it's, is it the police? <laughs> it's the police. Oh, yeah, the police were no help at all and haven't been for a long time. So I did not, in fact, give them this. And Gregory has successfully pulled out the ledger. Mm -hmm. A.K.A., if Lynn flips it open... It's in a type of shorthand, so not plain language, but it's 
you're a detective, Lynn. Uh, you could probably fairly quickly figure out this is a record of people. No, not only a detective, the detective who specializes in toon trade and smuggling and yep. kidnapping. Yeah. Yep. You know what the fuck this is, especially yep. with a bit of context before. Yeah. Craig, you see her tail full and curl in the, oh, this is important. Mm-hmm. Happening to have a informant bring this to my attention. I think I can make some use of this. We'll find as many of these people as possible. See if we can help them. Yeah, uh, 35, 35 are recovered. All right. Yeah, there are definitely more than 35 in names in that ledger. <laughs> or All 35 right, uh, entries. Yeah, but at least 35 can be accounted for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, the 35, are they with the police or did they go into something else? Uh, they're in hospital. All right. With the media uh, shitstorm that's resulted and also, I think, Fiero ready to um, kill a bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Yero, that's I one think of the... they're going to be just fine for now. All right, I will... Thankfully, we've got a system in place for this. I'll send some of my contacts over there who can help with, you know, finding family, helping on that front, making sure they recover, making sure they get to therapy, that sort of thing, all the resources they need, uh, social side of things, providing them protection and making sure that nothing gets untoward. This, and Lynn does just start muttering and then humming to network as she makes a list of all the things that most police don't do in Einquell, but Lynn does the follow-up, so these people are going to be safe and not risk of other <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is invaluable. This is going to be very, very interesting to me. All right. Uh, back on to current situation. Have you informed the Decimal might be good, given, um, things. Yeah, uh, Shox mentioned that, that as well. I don't think Shox even knows the full situation with Decimal, so, but, yes. yeah. Contact him and ask him if he'd be willing. Give as much details as you see fit. I leave that in your capable hands. I trust you. Yeah, especially since, uh, Decimal actually ran into a uh, quote unquote Tysol and Indeed. Make sure he knows beforehand, um, which also does bring me Oh to absolutely. Me. Uh do you know of any phrases or anything that were used on Matthias? Uh No, most, not really. Most Criminals of that nature, from the way he's been perching, from the way it is, he's expecting orders, so he is expecting... I almost want to say... Ah, uh, okay, there is, there is one. Um, okay. Not that I would expect it to come out of anyone's mouths here. Uh, pet. There is... A slight bearing of her fangs at that before she reels it in and closes her mouth very firmly because she is working not to show fangs mm -hmm. in this time. Okay. That will definitely not be used. We'll work on other things from there, see what we learn over time. It's going to be an there are going to be slow progress. I'm not going to lie from other experiences I've seen that it's going to be slow. There might be backslides, just like when you and I were recovering from our instance, except that this is longer. Okay? Longer, and most of what he knows, it's, it's going to Indeed. be bumpy. Yeah. Indeed. Offering therapy down the line is good, but right now is making sure he's settle too much new will make him shut down i am very aware of that hmm. okay 
there is one extra thing I did pick up while over there. Oh. Uh, though, to be honest, I'm inclined to kind of try to take care of this myself. It's a bit of a favorite family. Okay. Nine. All right. Pulls out the binder. <laughs> to, pulls out the binder that has the information on. Uh, yeah. Lynn, that's a child. That is a child. Should. Yeah. Should I roll history, seeing as this child did um did run in like the black market and that sort of stuff? Um. That's a hard one to say. Hard uh, to say without Abby here. Yeah, I will say mm -hmm. go ahead, possibly. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, history? Yeah. Okay. Get the right sheet. Get the right sheet. Because my thing decided to go to an completely different sheet. Yep. Swear to God, stop being a pick. Uh, history is da, 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 da. twenty-three. Okay. Um, I will say that likely Lynn probably right like maybe it's one of those like that looks like uh a suspect from uh from some related cases of uh some black market dealings mm -hmm. but the design is different uh mm -hmm. and those could have been from a while ago yeah and Thank like you. there haven't been Cold. any blips on that radar for a while so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh it was probably someone else's cases and that sort of stuff like a yeah. black market or something so mm -hmm. she did let it lie yeah it's other plots. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. likely would recognize person is similar. Um, could probably draw like a reasonable conclusion of ah, the black market dealings in those cases. They're probably following this tune because of those, just to see uh maybe like yeah. Hard to draw mm -hmm. concrete lines, but you know, you can you can you can theorize. Indeed. All right. Yeah, okay. If you want to take this on, by all means. This is a family matter, and you do not need my permission, but you have it anyway, and my blessing. Especially as too much activity from me would probably draw attention, ironically. Okay. Yeah, but I just you... wanted you to uh, be aware, you know. Thank you. No surprises and all that. Thank you. That means a lot to me, all right? Okay. Yeah. Let's I have not other than babies. that. Uh, tea's almost done. Uh, do, 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 had one thing. Ah. Normally, in these circumstances, have you seen um, Matthias's holy symbol? I might ask. I don't want to. I don't want to press because that's probably going to be a sore spot. I'm planning on talking about it later. Just giving him space, but have you seen it? Uh yeah, it's a it's a it's a pocket watch, as far as I can tell. Pocket watch. Yeah, and also um the bastard had a hold of it. Uh <laughs> Yeah, that's typical. I mean, the information will be in the files, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Bastard. Code name Edgar Locke. Uh, actual name, we're pretty sure, uh, Michael Keyes. Should I roll history on that, or would Lynn, yes. would Lynn know that's a villain... villain very expensive person who's been moving in nearby? Roll history. Philanthropist, that's the word. Oh, hex muted. Oh. Yeah. Hex dead. Roll history. Sorry about that. Had to answer my husband. Yay. All right. 18 plus 6. Hey. So, yeah, you would know of the name Edgar Locke. Uh, 
kind of surprising actually to have uh that name tied in with this because the man was uh he was shockingly um pretty 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 uh I wouldn't say public but like you know the he very clearly was working to help keep the city of Everstead's economy pretty bustling like uh you know, he brought in this charity gala event. He helped and he helped with some businesses. He uh, secured a bunch of like trade contracts between Faruma and Everstead. Uh, you know, you you say it's pretty surprising. The moment Lynn hears it and then thinks over that stuff, she just goes, "Why can it never just be for philanthropy?" <laughs> it's always like this. It's a good way of getting into the graces and meaning that certain people turn eyes. Mm hmm Like, this This is not new to Lynn. Yep. But it's... Actually. Yeah, it's one of those, like, everything Lynn has about Edgar Locke is always, like, a... Another, like, helpful thing for Everstead. You know. Pioneered I'm... by Edgar Locke. Uh... <laughs> Lynn, in her head, was honestly hoping, like, she wasn't getting involved because, well, I gesture at her life. If given mm. enough time, she might have down the line. But she is just hit. She was just there going, please just be something about embezzling. Please be just something about embezzling now. <laughs> it's <not> embezzling. He's <laughs> embezzling people. <laughs> yeah. Because this, this is literally Lynn's entire department. She knows the warning signs and who to have tabs on. Mm -hmm. And this guy was starting to reek of it. And she just go, she does just go, right. And, um, with, with everything, uh, has it been said that he's a vampire? Uh, yes. Okay. She just goes, right. Uh, probably. I might contact Ro to see if other vampires are alright. If needed, I can possibly help on that front, getting people extracted from places. That's going to be a shit fest. E. Okay. Uh, good on that. F well, good to know, good to sort. Hey! That's going to take a while to unpack. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a lot more to unpack as we go along. That's for later, right now, tea, and getting our new guest sorted, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, do we want to cut over to Matthias for a minute? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, uh, how's he doing? Is he just standing there? Uh, he's not standing. He has moved to sitting. Um, <laughs> he's... So they left, and he kind of stood... He did admittedly kind of, like, shuffle nervously in place of, like, what do now? Uh, what do now? Uh, um, and eventually he does kind of, like, once he hears them in the kitchen, uh, and he feels like, and he hears the kettle go on, uh, he does start to kind of get a better kind of lay of the room and look around and, like... Mm -hmm. There's not a lot you would mention. It's it's not a lot, but he, you know, he does look in the wardrobe, uh, mm -hmm. and he. Oh, you go, you go. He uh, he does check the bed, like you know, check out the bed, and like, just yeah, he's he's just kind of taking the room in. Roll me investigation if you like. Oh, all right, all right, all right. He doesn't. Oh, he does have that. Hey. And if needed, you can roll with advantage, and I will give the reason for that in a second. Oh, cool. Uh, that's a 16. 16, all right. Network may or not may not be giving the help action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that, yeah, looking in the cupboard and everything, there, there are a few items of clothing already in there. Mm-hmm. Including, like, slippers and a <laughs> pair of shoes mm -hmm. do, do seem like soft shoes they're not the kind that pinch or anything yeah 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 and there are like a few jumpers and stuff in there already just night clothes 
Mm -hmm. so sort of, and she's mainly trusting in what she's heard, so not gone extravagant or anything in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you do notice with a 16, there are... There are small places in here, not quite hidey holes, but little compartments and stuff. And they don't seem easy to find. Like, with the way this room is built, you probably just think they're pure convenience, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Because you did not roll high enough for network's fact of network has made this place so that you can hide snacks or things you want. And they're totally <laughs> no one will ever find them ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, bed sheets are reversible. And it it's not silk like you're used to. I think you said silk was yeah. the thing that he's used to. Yeah, he is. It does feel like it's not thin. It's a nice, comforting weight for given gestures at Halloween Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice Egyptian cotton sort of thing. You do also, you probably get the uh, fuzzy thing on the bed. Yep. It's Curious. a little plus. It's a little plush what? It's a plush toy. Aww. I will leave it up to you, Hex, to decide what animal or something it is. It's a fox. But... Aww. <laughs> that's Network... just, there's no, like, has... nope, that's a fox. Network may or may not have decided that Matthias needs a comfort animal. And he kind of... So gift. He, he kind of, like, he looks quizzically at it. Uh, kind of unsure. Like he's not sure. He doesn't. He 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 doesn't know. He's just, huh? I guess this is here now. I guess this goes here. Uh, really, that's like his kind of understanding is just. I guess it goes on the bed. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh my God! Has he... Oh God! He's never had plushies. He doesn't have memories from the... He only has been in captivity, v -Wild. I know! I know! And I knew this at the same time! Oh my god, he doesn't know plushies! Like, he does! He, like, he understands this is a plush toy. This is for children. Probably got left here. I will continue to leave it here. Uh... Bless. Like, he's not gonna I... throw it away. He's gonna, like, leave it on the bed and... Mm -hmm. If he gets attached to it later, that's a whatever, you know. Indeed. That is why <laughs> there. Yeah. Because maybe, maybe that good thing. Maybe good thing. Uh, other than that, yeah, it does seem like a nice, safe, solid room. It nice this yeah. yeah. <laughs> There that... is probably at least at one point when he's just like, actually, no, you go, you go. No, that was, I was just like, yeah, that's, he's just, this is a, this is a room, by God. <laughs> the ceiling is ever so slightly brighter gold, just all of a sudden, and then it just like fades away. Network is just kind of repeatedly just checking in. Aww. And then going, and then checking in, and then going. She's, she's omniscient. She knows everything that goes on within her at the same time. She's just every now and then paying a little more close attention because this new person. New person, yeah. Matthias so new. And he's, like, he probably picks up on, like, oh, I think the loka is looking at me. Uh, and he doesn't, like, he doesn't respond, unfortunately. Uh, Understandable. But he does just, like, he takes in the room. It doesn't take him very long. And eventually he does just, like, he perches in the chair that's offered and is like, he's, he, he's waiting. He took notice that the door was left partially open and he goes, that is a test and I'm not falling for it. Uh, and he goes and sits in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, unsurprising given Lynn's knowledge of A, abuse victims, B, smuggled people she's kind of figuring that so mm -hmm. when like when the tea's actually done because they she did set it on the uh, slow kettle so they did actually have time to talk and everything. <laughs> yeah so it's just like pour it and then she does just go to craig right 
Okay. This is a call to you. Do you think it would be a good idea to have it in here or to take it into him? Uh, maybe just to avoid moving him around too much. Uh, simplify things, just take it to him. Okay. Maybe, unless that's an invasion of a space, we should stay out of a space, and then maybe we should bring him in here. Uh... Yeah. Honestly, honestly, the dilemma, eh? <laughs> Can hmm. we roll goddamn insight to figure out which one Go would ahead. <laughs> Go we, ahead. We are learning of the Matthias. Yep. Oh my god, uh, Gregory's indecision is fucking real, because that's a three on the dice. No! That is a... It's just like, oh god, both have valid points. That is a 14 plus 6, Ling got you. Okay, so with a dirty 20, uh, what I am going to say is, Gregory, you are thinking, and you are mulling it over, and eventually you just say... You probably mutter, you probably had mentioned something along the lines of, I don't know, maybe, I mean, maybe he doesn't want to stay in a room. He was chained in that bedroom when we found him. Uh, and Lynn, when you kind of, and, and when you hear that, you realize you probably are able to put together, that means he never left there. That means he ate there. That's what he's used to. So feeding him in a bedroom, in, in like his, like doing this in the bedroom is probably the best bet to keep things from being mm -hmm. too new. Mm-hmm. Lynn absolutely hates that and wishes like she she is very happy Keys is dead. Mm -hmm. She kinda wishes she could snap his neck with some chains right now. Death is too good for was too good for him. Yeah, death was too good for him. But, but this is fine. Yeah. At least he's dead. Yep. At least he can't hurt anyone anymore. Yep. And then she does just do a quick breath and go, okay, um, Love, would you mind taking two of the cups? I, my hands good today, of course. but I don't exactly want to spill. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you. Thank you. All right. Oh, that's something you... else you'll notice, Lynn. Don't worry about that. Uh, you'll catch that when you come back in. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that almost. <laughs> there is a reason why I said it. Hey. As if I was smart. She is also, like, as she's going in, she is thinking of other things that she knows. Mm -hmm. Including, like, the watch. Knowing that it's a watch was interesting, but she thinks that might be a few days down the line once they've built rapport yeah. to bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's not, not going to make this guy even show something he's uncomfortable with. Because he put his hand in his pocket, not pulling it out. Mm-hmm. She's not going to demand him to show anything. She's going to wait and build rapport and trust before she broaches such a topic. Understandable. And then, and maybe one day get him in contact with Memoir, who also has a pocket watch. Yeah. Connection. Yeah. All right. Um, I will say as she's going, she does knock on the door. Mm -hmm. Just like with her tail. So it is a bit snare drummed. She just goes, "Hi, uh, we're back." <laughs> you see, you see him perched in the chair. He is, uh, he hasn't changed back to the elf, but he is just like in the chair. Uh, and he does the like little like greeting, like head dip again. Uh, she does it in turn. Okay. Uh, and he's just. Uh, he, he doesn't move from the, pos from that chair. Uh, he, he actually just kind of sits and waits for you guys to, uh, kind of come in and quote unquote, get situated yourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think cause Lynn will not sit on the bed because that is Matthias's place. Mm -hmm. She will have like Craigery come in after her and then just go hang on a minute I'm gonna get the bean bags and uh, just... oh go ahead <laughs> no you go first I was gonna say uh when she mentions that Matthias will probably like hop up to off he'll probably be like mid stance to offer the chair <laughs> no no 
We're not inconveniencing you. Don't worry. I I can. Have, have you ever seen a bean bag, Matthias? Blank, blank. Slow shake of the head. That's all right. Uh, network makes them. Uh, they're these <laughs> cloth. They're, they're these large cloth bags, and they're full of tiny little beans. They're rather comfortable to sit in. If if you like, you can try it. Yeah, or it might be something for a future day, all that sort of stuff. But um, I admit they're a little um unique. And immediately she says that one that's neon pink, like muted a bit, but this pink beanbag just appears in the doorway behind her. That does earn a tiny bit of a surprise because just ah beanbag ah ah dead body. Anyway, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you where that's from later. It's from a Dark Souls thing. Don't worry about it. Uh. <laughs> My dad says that from time to time, and I know he doesn't play Dark Souls. No, it's from a it's from an animation. Uh. Uh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> but she does just go, and she does turn back, and then she just turns forward, and it's the most it's amused the deadpan. She just goes that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. You get the feeling that this is just something that happens. Yep. But another one does appear for Craigery, one that's nice in his size, and they just roll in. And so they do just sit, and Lynn does personally hand a cup to um, Matthias. Yep. And he'll take it. Oh, Lynn, you want to roll perception? Yeah. A reason why she did it herself is so she could get a closer look at him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is. Perception, you said? Yep. Hey, tell me, what does a 30 get me? Fuck. Uh, yeah, a lot. Uh, so there's a couple of things. I'll gloss over a few just to, you know, avoid. Uh, you notice he's got... Man's covered, like, because he, he's still in his actual form. Man's covered in bites uh, at mm -hmm. all of the traditional vampire biting areas. Um, yeah. They look pretty healed now. Uh, safe to assume Asclepius likely did some healing when he went to the manor. Uh, mm -hmm. He's... His... Uh, man, with a 30. Yeah, you would catch that. His ears have the same starburst scar that decimals do. Uh, mm -hmm. Around a pair of studs. Um, the studs are still in? Yes. They got removed. Okay, yeah, they got removed cursed, but Yeah, yeah, the yeah. removed cursed, but they did they were not removed. Uh mm -hmm. so yes, the mm -hmm. studs are still in. Um he's uh I wouldn't say he looks he looks slightly anemic because again, vampires. Um yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and you don't notice it much just because the sweater he's wearing is kind of oversized. Uh, but you notice it when he takes the teacup. Uh, he takes it with both hands. And one hand, like, the two fingers, the two end fingers, the pinky and the ring, don't mm -hmm. quite have a full range of movement. Like, only the first three fingers move uh, as he takes it from you. She won't outright say anything, mm -hmm. but she is making notes to sort out at a later date. For one, giving him the option down the line to remove those studs, because that will be a good indicator of you yeah. are free. But doing so now would likely just be another sign of ownership. Mm -hmm. And she is also looking at that hand. And internally, her heart is ever so slightly breaking of, oh, he has been through so much. Yep. You don't get to, you can't see the scar on it, but it's safe to bet that it's something probably, like, not great. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, she absolutely got the anemic stuff because I gesture at her and her <laughs> markings that she has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which, all but, things considered, you would probably expect him to be, a, or maybe you wouldn't, you might expect him to be a little thin or malnourished, but he actually looks, you no, know. No, they, they take care of their favorite. Yep. 
yep. it's it, if you want to keep something for farming and for you know food yeah you've got to treat it right yep. and if and if it's good if it's treated with the right foods and supplements and stuff it's going to be nice for you yep so he's actually pretty well cared for on that front uh you would probably also note that like yeah uh he has zero like calluses on him uh outside of the scarring from the bites uh at least that you can see uh yeah he doesn't have any other scars that you can tell um mm -hmm. simultaneously He's... pampered and not yep it's the pampered to show off i mean she's also looking at the hair mm -hmm. that, that very is... tight braid that is a well upkept thing, good for presenting to people, also good for pulling. Yep. And because it's so long, it's another sign of, look how pampered it is, look how well it is. Look at its long and luscious hair. Yep. Down to his damn knees. Yep. Down the line, she's thinking of offering just like, once they've got rapport, helping him learn that he's okay to have his own styles and stuff and his own choices but that that is going to take a lot of time oh yeah and honestly she's kind of assuming she, she knows how people react she is waiting for a specific moment that will inevitably come <laughs> yeah she does just she does give the tea she does get all of that she's going to have a moment to think over all that later definitely going to be adding um Adding stuff to his food and making sure there are snacks like apricots and stuff and other things she knows. <laughs> high, high iron things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I gesture at Lynn. She knows what she needed during her recovery and hers was considerably less time. Admis admittedly, they did train 99% of her at the time. Mm -hmm. But she does just sit down in her seat. Mm. Very... Very relaxed in a way, but yeah. not in a I'm in control, but in a yeah, okay. Yeah. Matthias takes it and again, Gregory has heard this every time he's been given something. It is just it's 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 automatic, but he does just say thank you, ma'am. Uh and he'll you know, if if it's not boiling hot, uh he'll sip the tea. He will sippy. But eat good tea. Eat good and tea. You know what? I think Lynn does respond with that just at your service. Uh. <laughs> oh shit! Was that a roll? Uh. <laughs> can I roll to? Can I roll to see if she can figure out as she's saying it if it's a shit move? Yup. Right. <laughs> I will roll because she is. She is a smart monkey. She is a smart monkey. And she just tries that's a nat twenty. Maybe reversing the roll like that is not a smart idea. Thirty six hours in V Wild. Right. <laughs> or I mean, okay. Lynn, not be wild, Lynn. <laughs> that, that was that was part reflex on her part, but it's just she gets to the at and then just goes. Ah, oh, actually, I, I never asked. Do you do you like lavender? Um, we. I've I've never, I. Hmm. And now this is him. Actually, he kind of is. Uh, I don't think me, I was me ever... to be wild. My heart is going. Yeah. <laughs> you almost messed it up. <laughs> no, it's okay. My kingdom, my kingdom for gift of gab, but even then, it's all right. We're not going to do anything to him without his consent. It's all good. Uh, but no, he he kind of thinks a minute and then he just goes, "I, I don't believe so. Uh, tea was not uh usually something on on the menu." Well, you are going to experience the many joys of tea. We've got a lot of different types. And I mean a lot of different types. It's nice to um nice to try new things on that front. But we'll try lavender for now and if you get interested in other ones, well, we'll give them a shot, eh? He he nods. Uh let's see. Um I do have a few more things, but first have you got any questions? I know this has been a lot. If you need me to clarify anything, or if you've got any thoughts, just by all means. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
because my instinctive thing is he would say no uh Mm -hmm. because you know just like he'll he's going to figure these out on his own and like he's expected to kind of figure it out and know but also this is a new place and these are new people and so far they have changed they have gone against everything that he knows but he only but it, it everything happens so much uh and i'm just trying to think of if he hmm hmm I don't I don't think he has any questions that he would ask at the moment. Uh He probably has questions, but he's not like and you could probably tell he has questions, but he does shake his head and, you know, no, I I I'm all right. Thank you. Uh Okay. All right, if you get any questions at any point, there's me. Uh, Gregory? Uh, do you... Uh, you, you have a yeah, tendency to... me too. Yeah. You, you sometimes get to say things better than me. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Liz does actually laugh slightly at that, just... Okay, yeah. Yeah. You, you sometimes come at things at a different angle. I'm That's blunt, honey. More accurate, probably. Honey, the amount of things we've danced around where one of us could figure things out first. <laughs> I I love you. Actually, yeah, I do think about it just And she thinks as though she's gonna say yeah, no, out of the two of us, but then she just leans over pat pat. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, um, other things I can think of? Uh, we do have food at certain times of day, because I, I admit, my, um, my eating habits are a bit, uh, all over the shop if we don't have structure, so we do have, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at certain times. Uh, we do eat all together, but if you're not comfortable with that with so many people, we can start out slow, whatever is comfortable for you. You can eat in here. It's, we can play it by ear. Uh, he nods, but it's one of those, uh, Lin's, the words, we all eat together, and he's already, like, you can see the, uh, the catalog of rule, eat together. Like, mm-hmm. yep. She's probably going to have to let Craigery do that side of things, just... Yeah. 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 But she does also just go, uh, we do... Food is not a problem here. We have a, a lot of food. So snacking at any time is completely allowed. Alright? Uh, he nods again. That one, at least, uh, does not... is not met with confusion, because, uh, again... You want your pets well taken care of. So, like, yeah, he's he's mm-hmm. he's used to being given, like, snacks and things to just mm-hmm. have. So that is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that one at least clocks normal. Yeah. Which she's clocking as normal and just going. In- internally, out- externally, I gesture at this monkey and her deception. Mm-hmm. She is soft and pretty calm. But there is very much the internal, oh, I hate people who talk about people like pets and do this stuff. Yep. This is going to take a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, uh, you're free to leave the house at any point. That is completely allowed and everything. Uh, I would ask if you do go out to tell network, just say when you're going out, just... Mainly so we don't go panicking if all of a sudden just... It, it happens with my son, Rai. He gets excited and he runs out and then we have no idea where anyone is and everyone kind of loses their marbles. And he'll, like, again, just kind of nod and he... 
looks at the ceiling? Question mark? <laughs> yeah. The ceiling, uh, floor, uh, wall. Every, you, you will notice every now and then there's um, a little glow somewhere. Uh, that's her. She is... She, she is this building. Uh, you might also feel a warm breeze at points. That's her. Uh, she, she, she does love a lot. If you have spontaneous things next to you, like a book or a pillow, or a, if you get a bauble, that's great. Uh, but anything, just you're free to use it, you're free to play with it. She is offering it to you. It's how she shows affection. And he, he nods, like, okay. Ah, uh, other than that, love, is there anything you can think of? Uh, I feel like for an, uh, day one introduction, you know, anything else comes up can be kind of dealt with then. Indeed, indeed. Just in, uh, avoiding information overload sort of angle, you know? Indeed, indeed. Um, only final thing I can think of is we do have a bathroom. Uh, back then, I either be wild or missed it earlier because I forgot, but there is a bathroom, like, between her and, um, and Matthias's room, like, between Lynn okay. and Gregory's and Matthias's room, and she does just go, there's a shower in there, there's a bath in there, Network will point out the things like what shampoo and such. All of it's free for you to use. Okay. And you can go in there whatever you want. He again. Nod, nod, nod. Okay. Uh, other than that, go to pick. When was the last time that either of you slept? Uh. Uh. uh hmm. Matthias offers a very uh sheepish uh he he might have napped on the boat but uh it it's been uh a solid 36 hours technically 34 and a half good keeping of time he uh, kind of offers a sheepish little like duck of his head of just it it's one of the few things i'm good at Huh. Uh, keen mind? No, ma'am. Just he kind of offers a helpless little shrug. Hmm. Good at time. Mm hmm. All right. Um. But yes. Uh. Also, when did you last sleep, if I might ask? Because you said when Craigery. Uh. Uh, and he'll, he kind of, like, shrinks in his chair a tiny bit, uh, third at nine, third at nine hours and 27 minutes. Okay, thank you for telling me you're not in any trouble or anything. Okay. Ah, that is, that is a long time. You, you probably need rest. You're probably exhausted, bless you. Uh, I've been talking your ear off. It's probably a good idea to settle and do everything. If you need anything at any point, we're right down the hall. You can talk to us at any point, okay? You don't need permission. Just your door's, your door's yours. That that earns you a confused blink, but he doesn't like question it. An an old saying, I guess. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, oh, uh, final thing, you might hear some noises from my design at points. Don't worry about it. And as she says that, she does like it's a slow get up, but yeah, there are a few um sounds like you know when a pencil rapidly starts drawing things that sort of noise he, as she gets up yeah he might wince a little uh 
does he have it's not prepared i don't think let's see here he does not have it prepared but he does know greater restoration uh <laughs> She does just, like, as she's getting up, it's not a sharp gesture because she is not going to do, like, literally this entire time, she has not done a single snapping gesture. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing sharp, nothing, nothing beyond a gentle sweep. Mm -hmm. just, it's, um, it's a condition. Nothing concerned, it's as good as it gets. But just in case you hear it, it is just me. Uh, alright. All uh, if it's something that can uh be alleviated with healing i can i can uh and he does kind of like gesture with a hand like you don't have to right uh, uh oh all right hand immediately thank retracts <laughs> thank you for the offer though it means a lot All right. Uh, if you have anything else to do, love, I I should probably. I have got. I have got a few things that I want to do before I tuck in for the night, and I will sleep at a normal time. You you will also be sleeping, love. Oh y yeah, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll leave you. I'll leave you to it. All right. Matthias Have just nods. Yep. All right. First will. And she gets up, and it is a very gentle smile on her face as she just nods, and then she walks out. Mm hmm He's sippy his tea. Mm-hmm. Network, Network will take the cup afterwards. Network <laughs> likes He'll set the cup down once it's empty, looking back, and it's gone, and he's just like, huh. There will be a cookie in its place. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna keep being a thing with these two. Yep. Just surprise. Surprise. New thing. Hmm. <laughs> he will at least over time network will learn to hum when she's doing it. Yeah. So Sometimes. Sometimes he's she'll not, forget. Oh, shiny. He's not used to being snuck up on network. <laughs> no one expects the building. 24 passive perception. He's not used to it. Nope. Surprise. Surprise. Building. But yeah, Lynn's done all she can. It's going to have to be slow after this. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. And she's definitely already starting to prep for night two because she always knows the first yeah. night is the, the best night in a way because they're so wiped out. Tomorrow yep. night is going to be interesting. Yep. Yep. Tomorrow night's going to certainly be interesting. Definitely warn Hattie and Rye so they don't freak out and try and go in. Yeah. She, she knows this drill. Probably warn Craigery too. Yeah, she will. She absolutely will. Just she she knows what to expect on this front because of her job. Mm -hmm. She's going to make sure the other people are aware because they've they've not seen that side of her life because it all changed. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And very new. Yeah, she's an old hat. Lynn, um, you're only 24. <laughs> I, I kid you not, the fact that Meta, she was the first ever detective that we talked about in Ironquell, and B, this monkey feels as though she's in her 40s and it's going to reflect. Know. I know. <laughs> she is an old, old hat. I hold her. This is why we need days at the carnival with wild magic searches. <laughs> yeah. Feeling closer to your actual age. Yeah. How do you say that? Is that just made her feel that was young and now she is old? Well, don't worry. You but can probably go back to the carnival and have more fun. 
<laughs> God. <laughs> but, uh, that, that's all I had. If there's anything that Craigery wants to do with Matthias and that sort of stuff, yeah, other than that, Lynn is going to go downstairs and start, you know, making a file on Matthias. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gregory thinks this is probably about all that Matthias can handle probably past realistically honestly mm -hmm. maybe he's inclined to just you know uh yeah welcome to our home Matthias uh, try and get some good sleep we'll we'll see you tomorrow Matthias just nods. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep. I, I, I will. Uh, but he doesn't. He kind of like stays in the chair. He's still sipping the tea. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm in your own time. Uh, would you like the door open, closed? Uh. uh... I, uh, and again, uh, you get that same kind of, like, scrutinizing, like, what, what answer? Uh, how about, how about this? Um, I'll close it, and in general, people here are good about, you know, knocking before they come in, but, you know, we'll, we'll give a knock if we, uh. And he, want to chat with you rather than just barging in sound he, good he nods like all right that'll that'll that yeah all right uh good night matthias good good night gregory closes this door yep he closes the door matthias kind of like sits in the chair sipping tea for a moment I don't know if he's gonna hang around and listen if Gregory's gonna hang around and listen or what <laughs> well uh, I don't think he intentionally means to but Lynn's moved off to start building things uh, Gregory closes the door and then just kind of basically backs up a step or two to basically end up at the opposite of the wall and just kind of like take a moment to sag and go like oh, uh, yeah everything happens so much everything. so he's not intentionally sticking around to listen but if there's something to hear uh he's present yeah it's he it's it's pretty quiet on the other end until you hear it sounds like he's talking to someone question mark uh except then you Probably if you lean in closer, uh, and roll me a perception real quick. <laughs> Have a D6. Be a little bit nosy. Little. Be a little bit nosy. He oh, seems to oh be talking hey, to hex. somebody. What'd you get? Hey, Hex. Hey, Hex. What, what, what? I got a net 20. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, so, Gregory, you lean, you, you hear him, like, murmuring, and that's a little, uh, curious. <laughs> So you, 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 you kind of put an ear to the door, and that's when you realize he's not, it's, he's praying. Possibly. It's very likely it sounds like a prayer. Uh, it's, hmm. you can tell it's fragmented. Uh, it starts and stops, and he seems to kind of pause and repeat certain things back again or change variations like he can't quite remember or like he's only got parts of it and he's trying to fill in some gaps but he's that's definitely he's definitely praying in there yep uh leave him to it <laughs> yep uh yep that's all. <laughs> Changeling acquired. Changeling settled. acquired and settled. He's going to break in a minute. Don't worry. He'll sleep. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I will say all stuff that was brought up today will be brought up again, like down the line. So, he, you know, yeah, the, as he was given an overload of information. Oh, it will yeah. come again later at later points so that he doesn't have to scramble. Oh, yeah. But God's bless. He's he's going to finish that little prayer and then he's going to break down and then he's going to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone in this house is going to fucking sleep. Network is having emotions over this changeling she's watching over now. I hope you know. Aw. Yeah, Network gets a nice view of uh, basically just him doing that and then, yep. Yeah. He gets up, he goes to the bed, and then he just curls in the tightest ball he can. <laughs> it's not the first oh, buddy. It's yeah. not the first time she's seen that. She's gonna make sure the glow and the dark stars are nice. Aw, yay. But yeah. Yeah. That uh wanna close out? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Thank you for listening, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now.